welcome to all of you to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today, we are going to talk about Dvitiya Tithi. Tithi, as we all know, talks about the wealth quotient in life and our relationship issues. So, what is the relationship factor that is, what are the planets that govern the relationship factor for people born in Dvitiya Tithi? How do they work out in terms of their wealth? And many such questions to be answered in this uh, video. But before that, I'd like to thank all of you for writing, subscribing, and also liking our videos and our audios. If you haven't subscribed to our Spotify and our YouTube channels, please do that with the links given below so that you can get the information of the videos that come out every week. And as we talk about the tithis, it is very important to understand that one of the very major factor of a person's life is his or her love life relationship issues. And Tithis talk about that. The main ruling planet of Tithis are Venus, but with every Tithi, there is a different planet associated. When we talk about the Dvitiya Tithi, the planet that is associated with Dvitiya Tithi along with Venus is Moon. So, whenever we are in a need to understand, to see uh, the <coughs> Dvitiya Tithi, it's very important to understand the position of Moon and Venus. If the position of Moon and Venus in any chart is good, then the person will get great name in his life and there will also be great creativity that a person can have. We need to understand that Venus is the Karaka of uh, creativity. Moon is your juices flowing in. So this great combination gives you great creativity in life, especially for the charts of artists, for the charts of actors, all these people, a good Moon and Venus combination takes you a long way and gets you a lot of name and fame. Then we can understand very well that these people are quite knowledgeable whatever their field may be wherever they are in the world they will be able to gain a good position in life with their knowledge the combination of moon and venus brings about a lot of wealth in their life there is a very strong probability, and I repeat a probability, that these people can have marital issues, they can have problems in their married life. And for that, if there is a malefic influence in moon, on Moon and Venus, then that malefic influence is cements that matter. Otherwise, if there are benefic influences, then those benefic influences erode away the marital issues that are probable that we see. These people are very fond of luxurious living and they work hard. As we're talking about the wealth factor also, we are not supposed to forget that. How do a person, how does a person utilize their wealth? So they have a strong luxurious living and they uh, use their wealth to that effect. They earn good, they spend good and they have a very practical approach to life. With their creativity, yes. They're very strong and creative issues, but when it comes to living life, they are practical and at times they are also whimsical because we should not forget that the uh, planet in charge is also moon. So at times they can be really whimsical about uh, their um, ways of living, about their marital status and every other thing about their creativity. But in general, they have a practical approach to life. From the point of view of... Um, doing things on a Dvitiya Tithi, that is when we are talking about Muhurta, what can be done. It is good for marriage. It is also good for Upanayana. It is good, very good for Dev Pratishtha. Any development work, any creative work, any good work that one wants to do can be really commenced during this period and it will give good results. When we are talking about work that one needs to do relating to government, what does that mean? When we are trying to uh, work on, say, uh, we are trying to put in some uh, contract with the government for, say, road building or any other such uh, thing, or when we are going to ask for a certain amount of loans from the government agencies, then all these um, things are well done during this 
tenure of this tithi and once it is started during this tithi it will reap us good results provided that the moon is not afflicted on that day and we also can be traveling understand that moon and venus both are associated with traveling so this tithi becomes very good for traveling and for any artistic work so we are going to take an example here we're going to take the example of amitabh bachchan in amitabh bachchan's chart we see that moon um, is ahead of venus or rather venus is in the 12th form moon, from moon so is there a connect is there a good connect between moon and venus yes there is a strong connect between moon and venus because all classical texts say that the when venus is in 12th from any planet it enhances the quality of that planet so here we see that the quality of moon for amitabh bachchan is enhanced by this venus and we can also see and say that yes venus is debilitated yoga is being debilitated so how do we say that he has a good venus well this makes a vipreet rajyog you should be seeing my video on vipreet rajyog to understand what i'm trying to say here but in short we see we know that when a planet which is <clears throat> supposed to be a good planet for a chart is debilitated in one of the bad houses and is also under a lot of stress by malefics here we see that in amitabh bachchan's chart venus is debilitated being a yogkar and it is with the malefics sun and mars so yes if there is a benefit associated but that is also the eighth lord mercury and mercury always takes the color of the planet it is associated with so this mercury is essentially not too good for him either so that makes it a vipreet rajyog and in many cases a maha vipreet rajyog so that created a lot of uh, issues in his life to begin with vipreet rajyog takes you down before it gets you up so here with this vipreet rajyog he did suffer a lot of problems when we are talking about creativity we know that he had seven bad movies Uh, flops at the boxes before uh, box office before finally his movie hit the roof and the second point is that we've seen he's had many downs also in his life it's not that he's just had up and up his downs have been equally bad so we can understand very well that this does state this does show a very strong period in his life and this mercury is the one this venus has been the one that has helped him come up so when we talk about uh, vitya we can also take up madonna's chart we could take the chart of hrithik roshan here just for a moment and say that we see the jupiter uh, uh, and venus together and venus is with the uh, uh, fifth lord second lord though it's debilitated jupiter does give a lot of effects and moon being the ninth lord in the ninth house being aspected by jupiter and venus this is a great sign to go with and yes rithik roshan did have his share fair share of problems to contend yes he did not come from a very humble beginning as we see for amitabh bachchan or for madonna and generally we see that these dvitiya tithis have a way to rise up in life so did rithik roshan should have a rise yes he did he overcame a lot of his disabilities madonna's chart we see venus again behind moon and venus is again a very strong planet it's also placed in the 12th house per se so yes it does give uh, madonna the the feel she was the one who created history of how to dress on screen or on the stage and she brought about a change in the way people looked at pop art so pop music so this is how the uh, dvitiya tithi reflects or comes out on other people and people's chart to begin with and to summarize i would just say that yes dvitiya tithi gives you a moderate beginning but if you have the caliber you have a way to go especially if the venus moon combination in your chart is great creativity is the one that takes you up so do pay a lot of attention on your creativity and you will be going good do write into us let us know how you found this video and we'll see you soon please hit Thank the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel